we've had a very mild year and mild is good. So one of the biggest kickers for um, super blooms is when we have early heat waves that tends to burn out those young little seedlings. So when we really haven't had that this year, which is fantastic. So um, that consistently cool temperature, fairly steady rainfall at good frequencies has really set us up to have a pretty good super bloom across the state. Drier Southern California will have more dramatic super blooms because they don't get as much rainfall typically to have as much grass competing, well, non-native grass out competing those flowers. As you move further north, rainfall increases, you have a higher level of grass um, there, and so that makes it more competitive and more difficult. So where you do see super blooms in Northern California typically tend to be on areas of steep slopes or thinner soils because those are areas that the grass can't establish and be as competitive. Who wouldn't want to be in what looks like a painting? Um, just the aesthetics of it, it's very, very, it's not very often or for very long that you can be somewhere where it's a massive sway of colors that aren't just green or maybe golden brown. Um, and I think the other part is the fact that it just happens on its own. And, um, you know, many of us love gardening, and but we have to put work into keeping these things going. But when it happens spontaneously from Mama Nature, um, it's a really spectacular experience.